All right, welcome back. So we did our fairing enclosure yesterday. Now we're coming back and we're moving our way to the bags. So right now we're going to use the lid cutting kit to install the six by nine speakers in here. What comes in the kit is very nice. This will sit right here, tape it down, and that gives you the lines that you cut out on your bag. And then this simply bolts in like that, and then that will get sandwiched on top of it like that. So the first step is we're gonna cover the bag with painter's tape just to protect the paint and anything, make sure we don't scratch it up or anything, things like that. Um, then we will put this on top, drill two holes in top of here, that way it'll hold it in place. And then we just simply take a jigsaw, run around the outside of it, and then remove that. And we will have a nice even cut hole right here. So let's get started on that. All right, so as I said before, we went ahead and covered this all with painter's tape. That's just to protect the paint, make sure we don't scratch it up or anything. Then we're gonna put the template over top of it, make sure it's centered on there nice and neat. And we're gonna take our drill bit, drill our two holes in there, nothing fancy. That'll hold it in place as we go through with the jigsaw. So now, all of these little spots here, we're gonna go ahead and take a drill bit and drill out every single one of these holes. And then that will give us a spot to put our jigsaw blade down in and circle around. All right, so now I've got the bigger drill bit. I'm just gonna go around and every single one of these holes, I'm gonna go ahead and drill the hole out. Now that every one of those are cut out, go ahead and take our jigsaw and just run it around this line that they've already made for us. All right, so it, to this point, Bill has already walked you through the process of getting this hole cut into the lid. Um, we're now into the future. I've got to backtrack because of my scheduling conflicts. I had to pull Bill off of this to go handle a couple of installs and the videos got kind of left behind. So what I'm going to show you is how to assemble the Cicada Audio um, lid cutting kit two piece part. Now, this is gonna be very, very similar to a lot of the other lid cutting kits on the market because let's be honest, they're very all very similar besides the new Hertz, which hopefully we'll do a video on that later. But what it's gonna consist of is the actual grill, which you can see has a nice 
foam gasket around here and then has four screw points on it. And then this is the inner piece. So this is what comes from the inside of the lid out. This sandwiches on just like this, thus pinching the lid to the two pieces with the two foam gaskets, pinching it in between. And if you look right here, Cicada already put what side this is. So you see this, this one says left. So it goes on like this. And how you know left to right is when you're sitting on the bike, the clutch side is your left and the brake side is your right. So what we're gonna end up doing is this part just sits right here, nice and tight. And then from the inside, we're gonna put this in here and then put our four screws in, which you're gonna have one, two, three, and four. The fourth one is right here and they give you four screws. There's two shorter ones and two longer ones. Obviously you're gonna use your two shorter ones here and here. And then your longer one is gonna go through here and through this opening into this grill, sandwiching the two together. So let's see if I can get you oriented around to get a better view of the lid open. The four screws will tighten it up and then we'll load our Hertz SX690 Neo 6x9 speaker into this lid, get it all fully assembled. So all you're gonna to need to get this installed at this point is just a Phillips screwdriver. And then here is the four Phillips screws I was talking about, two shorts, two longs. So we'll set that aside actually. Yeah, we'll just set it aside. And then what I wanna do is we're gonna take our grill, like I said, you can close this, line it up right here. You'll get it, it'll fit nice and tight in there. We're gonna hold it because on this side, you're gonna take it and then this is actually gonna sit just like this. The bigger rounded up pumped area is going down here by the, the latch assembly and you just gotta kinda nestle it right on in there. It's just a little tight back here and just like that it drops in. So again, two smaller screws, two longer screws here and then it'll pinch together and hold. All right, just like that, this is all fully assembled now. One thing I do want to stress is one, you never want to just go ahead and tighten one screw at a time. As you can see, I had to do just a little bit of, you know, pushing here and there to get everything 100% lined up is, I mean, it's all plastic. So plastic likes to move just a little bit. So I started these two and then I kind of get these two all lined up. And once they're all lined up and threaded, I'll kind of do like a, star pattern like you would the lug nuts on a car and go around till they're all snugged and when you go to final snug them don't like wrench down there and put like 300 foot pounds of torque on them you're just going to want to nice and snug them up and you know you're going to feel that resistance because it's plastic if you go reaming it in there with an impact drill you could strip these out and then you're kind of up a crick without a paddle as they say so just be very cautious with that um, do a nice good torque on them but don't go he man or he woman on them and just ream them on out. Um, I would definitely not recommend using an impact or a drill on these, use a screwdriver. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and load our six by nine in here, which we'd already had done. So let me get that put up here and we will go ahead and get this all finished up. I didn't like how small these screws were and they were starting to cause like uh, dimples in the Hertz mounting right here. So what I did is I got a really small washer and I'm just gonna add it to these screws to give us the screw a little bit more surface area to bite on. So that's what you're gonna see me do now is go back over and do that. All right, now that all those washers are installed and it is nice and secure, I'm going to re-secure up our speaker wiring here. That way I can get it all done up, get this strap back on. One thing I will say about the bag strap is you have two different sets of screws. They're both Torx T15 Torx, but you can see the difference between the head. You see this is a self-threading one and this one is a machine screw. That's because in the lid part, it goes into plastic and in here it goes to part of the hinge area so that's where the machine screw goes and both self threaders go into here. So we'll go ahead and get that all done and finish this up.
And just like that, this installation is complete. So again, this was our installation video for the Cicada Audio lid cutting kit. This is for a six by nine speaker and it will fit the 2014 and current um, Harley hard bags, the Street Glides, Road Glides, Road Kings that have these bags. Um, and it will accommodate a six by nine speaker, um, which we stock a variety of those on this build. We just wanted to go with the Cicadas or the Hertz. Um, we use a lot of the cicadas in the lids from the CM, so that's the mid, to the CH, which has a compression horn in it. Just in this build, we wanted to go with the Hertz, give them a try. So that is a wrap for this installation video. I know a lot of people have done videos on this, and I know that we are not a Harley-specific shop. We are Indian Motorcycle Audio Specialists, but we purchased this Street Glide platform to help expand our business into the Harleys. We are still very, very, very focused on the Indian motorcycles. We have a whole list of products that we are in the R&D process of. So you'll see those coming up soon. But I'm hoping that our take on the installation process for this helps somebody and that maybe some people prefer our way of installing versus others. And then this helps you through the process of installing these on your Harley Davidson motorcycle 2014 to current or shows that you can bring it down to us that we can help set you up on your Harley Davidson motorcycle and we can do the installation for you. So please make sure you go check out our website, davidson-audio.com, where you can find the, these lid cutting kits along with all of the products that we're using within this installation series. And if you'd like to give us a call to schedule an installation today, don't forget the phone number is 607-800-1032. And with that, Brandon with Davidson Audio in this video is a wrap.